Hi, Mark Gordon on June the 22nd, uh, Friday. Uh, and uh, this is the SLV, the silver ETF, down about a half a percent today. Uh, but uh, some interesting developments. Uh, we hit a low of 25.80, which took out this previous break low of 25.99 uh, here a few weeks back. Uh, in uh, mid-May. Uh, that is not a great sign for silver. Um, now uh, we had a nice leg up here. Now we have taken out this previous break low. Uh, silver is back into an intermediate term downtrend. Uh, we have some ugly looking moving averages uh, stacked up bearishly. In other words, the uh, faster moving averages are all stacking up below the slower ones. So that is a bearish configuration for silver. Uh, so not much, uh, uh, you know, looking too good other than uh, possibly we're oversold. And let's go to our indicators down here and take a look at these. I look at these, uh, you know, secondary, but uh, you can see here a couple of things. This is the MACD, the moving average convergence divergence line has now crossed the faster moving, the black moving average has now crossed below the slower moving blue moving average. Uh, you can see these bars here, they're now to the downside. This is not a good sign. A lot of your longer term traders will look at this, uh, maybe backing off to the sidelines at least as this crosses here. Um, you do notice a couple of heavy volume selling days, uh, the biggest selling volume in quite some time. I have to go back here to April to get up into this area here. Uh, so um, uh, MACD cross to the downside, not looking good. Uh, your stochastics have been diving ever since peaking in early June here. Um, had a little bit of, a, of an attempt here uh, to rally, couldn't handle it, uh, and now dropping down. Um, <clears throat> actually, uh, a bit of good news here in the fact that the stochastics are now in the oversold area, anything below 20, oversold condition, which uh, can lead to a bounce higher, but nothing uh, doing yet. Uh, the faster moving black line still diving very heavily. You can also see on balance volume. Uh, this is where you take the, the uh, uh, upward uh, uh, price movement and volume and uh, you um, uh, match that against the uh, uh, downward moving volume. This is a momentum indicator uh, showing it breaking to new lows here, uh, taking out this sort of support it had been building here to the downside. Not a good sign for silver. So nothing looking too good about silver. You can see the relative strength line, uh, this orange line against the S&P 500 kind of gives you an idea of the strength uh, just against the broad market, stock market. Uh, that is diving to new lows as well. So nothing about silver looking good uh, on this chart. And we now move to a weekly chart of silver uh, down about 6.6%. You can see this massive dive this week. Uh, taking out uh, this uh, red line, the four-week moving average, busting through this channel here uh, in May. Um, <clears throat> had a little channel going up here, lost that this week. Nothing looking good about silver on this chart here. You can see the 25.99 break low, taking that out today. Um, <clears throat> next point of support might be this, this uh, low we made here in December at 25.65. That is only about 25 cents away from the low we made this morning. Uh, so that might be positive. Uh, could get some uh, defensive action here uh, by the silver longs here, uh, uh, maybe setting up a battle here. You also have this break low here of 2603, made back here in the beginning of 2011. Uh, so uh, that goes back about a year and a half. So we're down in that zone here where we have had some significant uh, uh, runs to the upside after testing these lows. It all depends on how the silver longs uh, feel about defending uh, uh, this line in the sand down here in the area that we're in right now. So, um, you know, uh, nothing really uh, makes you want to go long silver here. If we start to get some real upside momentum, uh, you know, I personally would wait till a real trend is in place before embarking on any any uh, more silver purchases to the long side. So uh, interesting times here. Uh, silver under massive pressure. Nothing looking good. Let's wait to see if we get some uh, some good uh, defense here by the silver longs. But I'm just waiting for that. So far, they're not stepping in yet. So thanks for listening and good luck trading. And uh, let's see what happens uh, over the weekend. Uh, you know, I'm I'm personally expecting some kind of a big money bomb from the uh, Federal Reserve, the International Monetary Fund, the European Central Bank, all in a coordinated effort. Uh, we had 15 banks, uh, world uh, international banks, be downgraded yesterday. Some big banks, not a great sign. 
Um, let's see if uh, the central banksters uh, come to the rescue with a massive, uh, you know, package, stimulus package. I, I don't know. Um, <clears throat> they're sort of playing a, a game here, uh, not wanting to overtly stimulate these markets, but doing it kind of surreptitiously. But uh, let's see if we get some support here. Have a great weekend. Talk to you later.